Welcome to this episode on how to use uh, multiple selection using form helpers in Rails. This uh, example will use a very simple model where you have a book that can have many authors and authors can have many books. That's the model we'll be modeling. So let's get started. I'll have a book model and uh, author model and also I'll create a migration for authors books this is a joint table since we are going to have has and belongs to many relationship Book just has a name and the author also has just name. The join top table will have a create table with the foreign keys specified. I'm just going to cheat a little bit here since I don't want to go into the basics of this uh, setting up the relationships I have some test data here also so basically it creates a join table authors under underscore books we don't have any primary key on that on that table we only have author ID and book ID which are foreign keys to authors and books table and I have created two books and I have created four authors for us to play with and I have associated uh, book one with authors one and two, star and set. The focus will be on the view helpers and how to set up the views. So let's open up the models and define the relationship. Author has and belongs to many books. Similarly, you have book, many authors. Okay, now we have set up the relationships. We have defined the tables and the migration and some test data for us to play with. Now let's create a controller. say books controller and in the books controller we are going to have a form partial I'm going to copy paste some code for the views and I'll explain what I'm doing This is the form for tag for the book and I display the book name. It's a text field and we already defined the name in the migration and the authors and I'll explain this thing in a minute how I'm looping through and why we need all this. Let's create a few more files that we need. edit file will have this edit book and render the partial form partial and I pass in a local variable which will have the button text the submit button will have the update text in it and then I don't need a new we already created some test data but we can create the show where we have some interesting logic to display the authors of a particular book so this will be show HTML ERB okay 
let's migrate and create the tables and we have the tables and test data to play with and we have some views Okay, now if you look at the documentation, the options from collection for select takes four parameters. When you provide the selected, it um, has the IDs of the object which must be selected when you display it. And the collection is the actual collection object. In our case, it will be collection of authors that we want to display in the multiple selection. A value is just the ID. This will be the actual options value of the HTML. In our case, we will use uh, author's ID. I'll show you. And then the text is the actual text of the options inside this options tag. OK, now let's go to the localhost. 2006. Now we want to go to books slash uh, one slash edit. Now we need to define the routes. In the routes, let's get rid of all this. So let's see if we can now load the edit page. Okay, whenever you get this error message doesn't tell you much it just means you have not initialized some object so let's go to the controller we want to go to the books controller and let's look at the edit action and see what we need so it loads the form okay and the form needs the book object because it's depending on that uh, to show the authors also okay let's do that first before you can load the edit page we need to find the book this params FID is coming from the URL if you do a rec routes you'll see let's load the edit page now there it is the First and second are the authors we created in the migration, and now it's displayed like this. I'll just go back and now explain you how the views actually works. Entering the partial, and here, when you use options from collection for select, we actually need uh, our own, we need to define the HTML for select like this because the form helper doesn't provide that if you read the documentation you'll see that it, it requires the, the select and the name needs to be specified and the multiple equals multiple should be true so that you can select multiple values in the selection box now the way this thing works is you have you have to name the selection as like this since the book has many authors, you have to say book of author IDs, and then this is since you're passing multiple, you could uh, possibly pass multiple IDs, so this is an array. And Rails will give you a method called um, author underscore IDs. Let me show you.
so if i do a book dot find the first one i have presentation zen book dot authors dot each let's say book dot public methods and here if you uh, go through this thing uh, you could also do a search on if you see there will be a method called uh, author underscore IDs There it is, right here. This is a method that's provided by Rails when you have this as and belongs to many association. That's for you, you're using in the view. And if you see, we pass the, this as an array. And here, options for collect, where since we need to display all the authors, we find all the authors in the database. In a real app, you will actually have all these things defined in a helper and based on certain logic. Right now, it's just a, a, a demo of how this, how we can use this thing in your Rails app. ID is the one which will be the uh, part of the option and then the value tag, value equals whatever the ID for that particular author is. And then the name is the text, option text. It will be displayed on the page as star and then uh, Seth and so on, all the different authors. Selected is the one we are just uh, looping through book.authors using the active record association. And the collect method will return an array of uh, IDs, in this case, who are the authors for that particular book. Is. This also will go to a helper method in a real application. So let's uh, now uh, change the authors and update it. Let's take Cody and Manny and then just do update. So we need to define update. It's not there yet. Let's do that now. I'm going to copy paste the update. It's a very standard update method. It will find the book uh, object since the URL will be passing the ID. The params hash contains that particular ID that's being passed. And then we'll just update the book attributes. And then we'll forward to the show method. So we also need the show. And you actually have the same thing what you're doing in edit. since you want to load the book before you can display it in the show method. So let's go back and if you go back now you can see it would have loaded these two guys and if you go to the database it will be three and four. It's book.find, book.authors, It will be third and fourth. Oops. Since the update method was not implemented, it's not in the database yet. Let's implement it. There it is. And if you go to the database again, okay, now let's loop through that object. Okay, we had to so for some reason. You need to do this and then run it again. Now it just changed the query and many. So as you can see, how how we can update the uh, multiple selection coming in from the user interface, and now we can also display it in the show action, looping through those values. So that's it for this skincare. And if you enjoy it, please recommend me, recommend me on working with sales. Thank you.